skepticism and empiricism, two marks of a modern age, having doubts and asking for proof. Thomas is doing the same thing, having a doubt and asking for the proof. Nothing wrong with the having doubts and asking for proofs. There's no virtue in uh, being gullible and naive. Just to believe in what you are told or what you read, what you are taught in the catechism classes. There's no virtue in just believing. You have to explore your faith and ask the question, why? Why do I believe in God? And what do I believe about God? What is the reason? St. Peter says in 1 Peter 3, 15, I think, you should have an answer to those who ask you for the reason for your hope. You can't just say, I am told. I, this is what I have been taught in catechism. No, no, no. You have to give an answer. A reason, a logical reason, something from your brain. Give an answer. So explore your faith. Read more, study more, study the scripture. Why this is, this is so. What is the meaning of this parable? What is the meaning within this miracle? There's something going on in between these lines. What is the meaning? Unless we go deep into our faith with our routines and devotions and the daily mass, we are not going to really enjoy what we do here. I won't enjoy if I just keep on doing the same, the same prayers without really going into what I am saying. I am not going to enjoy. These days of COVID and isolation, good time to open some good books and read and listen to some good talks and Jordan Peterson or Bishop Barron listen to those talks and enlighten your mind and open your eyes oh why I believe this because I can see the connection from Genesis to Revelation I can see every line every line is connected every story is connected everything is so beautifully linked I can see the connection and I believe there's one more thing in today's gospel. There are things which are beyond our sight. Which are beyond even our human reason. So put a space for that too. For example, when Jesus says, this is my body, the bread, doesn't have any change in its shape or color the same round piece of bread. But what is happening is beyond our eyes and our comprehension and yet we believe.